What's up YouTube? So today we're working on the black car and the reason is I was out driving it yesterday, get my speedometer dialed in, uh, change the wideband sensor so my wideband gauge works again. And uh, basically just driving around and everything was going good. My speedometer is about two mile per hour off now. It's a little slow so I gotta fix that. But getting it dialed in and um, I pulled over as I was adjusting the speedometer switches had the car run, had the air on, and when I got back in the car, I noticed the uh, temperature had creeped up over halfway, which is not normal. And uh, I got out and listened, and my fan wasn't working. My electric fans weren't working. So I did the basics. I came out here and I checked the fuses in here. I checked the fuse down here that goes to it. And uh, what I found was I could hook a wire straight from the battery to the fans. They came out and worked fine, but no fuses were blown. And unfortunately what that means is your constant control relay module has gone bad. Now, I got this from O'Reilly's. This is a CCRM is what they're kind of basically called. And I'll unbox it here so you see what it looks like. But this is it. Make sure I hear anything rattling. So this is the box. It actually controls the electric fans. Now, <clears throat> this box is kind of hidden, and on these cars, for example, it's inside the fender liner, mounted right up in here, and here's the wiring connection for it. Um, this will be the second one I've changed in about the last three years. I have one on here from O'Reilly's, and it ran fine, and it fixed a fan issue I had before, but unfortunately, the box mounts like this. And if you'll notice here, this is open. So any moisture that gets down in here collects. There's no way for it to drain. Water sits in here and starts building up. And guess what? The flip side of this, it's a circuit board. Well, as you know, electronics don't work well when they get wet. So imagine taking your computer when it's got power and put it in water, it's gonna fry it. So when I started diagnosing this and I got up here and I took it out, I wish I had kept the old ones so I could show you, but it's a core, it turned into a core charge. Um, there was a little bit of rust right here on the corner. And when I flipped it over and did this, a bunch of stuff flew out of it. Some dirt, debris, some what looked like broken parts. So, and when you did this, you could hear it rattling. So basically, $160 later, I have a replacement. It's gonna go right up in here. It actually faces this way. You bolt it up with a screw and then you tighten up this wire connection to it. As you can tell, it only goes one way. It's got uh, tabs here on the side so you can't put the connector on backwards. And this is gonna allow the computer to tell this relay to turn on which sends voltage to the fan. Now you're thinking, why don't you just straight wire the fan? Well, a couple things. One is when you straight wire it, you just have a key on and a relay. It runs all the time. That's fine in the summertime, but in the wintertime, you actually don't want the fan to run. You want the car to get up to temperature so your heat works and all that. Also, with this, when you turn on the air condition, it sends voltage to the same relay for the fans. It's supposed to turn on two fans. You got one, it turns on the other one. Um, the way mine's hooked up, whenever it gets voltage, it runs both fans all the time. So you turn on the air, it just sends that signal right to what's already powered. But I still want to keep it as factory as I could, which is why I have this module. So I'm going to put it on real quick. Um, we'll fire it up, get it running temperature, make sure the fans come on and this should be fixed. But if you've got one of these cars and all of a sudden the fan stops working, you check all the normal fuses, it doesn't work. It's probably this CCRM module. And I'll tell you that on the box here, it actually says 700200, but the actual part number on this thing is right here. It's a 7370020. So you look up online, that's the number that you're looking for for these type of modules. So I've got to put it on real quick, show you how it looks when I'm done, and hopefully that may help you if you've got a car that's overheating. Uh, one thing before I get too far, I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to put a bead of silicone all the way around. So we're gonna to try to prevent as much water getting in there as possible for the future. Well, 
the good news is the fan works. When you turn on the air conditioning, the fan should come on, which they both do because they're both tied together, like I said before. And once I got the temperature, I turned the air conditioning off and the fans were still running because it was up in the range where my fan should come on in the first place. So now I know the CCRM box has fixed my problem. The car runs, it runs good. Um, you'll notice I have my gauges out. I noticed my air conditioning compressor was clicking off and on a little bit. And while this was running, we were getting down to about 25 uh, pounds and around 25, 20, 25 pounds, the compressor kick off and on because pressure's kind of low. My high side pressure is about 200. So I think it just needs a little bit of Freon. Um, I'm not sure that day I filled it, if it was, uh, if I had a leak or anything. I don't see a leak anywhere. Like I say, I've replaced both of these valves uh, in the past and the O-rings in the compressor. So I'm gonna get a little bit of Freon and put in there and get the levels just right. And um, this thing should be done. So I'll have air, my fans will be working again, and I can test drive it. Unfortunately, uh, it is raining right now. So no test drives on Mickey Thompson 275 drag radials. So hope that helps. If you've got an electric fan to quit working and you checked all the fuses, the basic stuff, it's probably the CCRM box. Till next time.